Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. My name's Eben, and today we're gonna to talk about all the different elements to synthetic lubrication. We're gonna talk about how it all started with jets. It all started with uh, the aviation, 100% synthetic lubrication, and basically all the molecules are uh, built. So uh, mineral lubrication, all the molecules are basically refined down where they actually boil it down, they add chemicals, and they actually uh, refine the oil, where synthetic oil is specifically built for an application. Whether it's gear oil, motor oil, something like this, Signature Series, and it's 100% synthetic motor oil, and uh, that's what jet oil is, and uh, that has the ability to flow at uh, negative 50 degrees below zero, and also it has the ability to keep its shear stability when it's uh, 300 degrees. For an oil like this, this is a uh, very robust 10W40 for air-cooled engines, and this has the ability to hold up uh, to 300 degree motor oil temperature. Let's go inside the Amsoil Distribution Center and see how it all started. I'm gonna kick it off right here. This is uh, Al Amatuzio. He is the inventor of uh, synthetic motor oil for cars. He was a lieutenant in the Air Force, and in 1963, uh, he took lubrication from jet engines, which is like a gear oil, and he started uh, a whole chemistry process and started trying different things. And in uh, 1966, he actually started selling the oil. And he did this for years. He tested on Bobby Unser's hill climb car, and uh, out at Pikes Peak, Bobby Unser is a 12-time hill, hill climb champion, Pikes Peak. And uh, after he found that there was very little metallic, very little wear in the differential, at that point he kept. And in 1972, they became the first synthetic motor oil in the world by the American Petroleum Institute. So API, American Petroleum Institute, they certified the oil. And that was way back in 1972. And ever since, they've remained the leader in lubrication. And uh, to this day, they still have the one year, 25,000 mile oil change, which I have a video on. It's, uh, you'll see it in my, my list of uh, videos. And let's kick it off today. Let's do it. Now you just got a chance to see how it all got started. Let's physically look at the differences. So this here, this is like a uh, mineral oil that's refined. Some of the shapes are a little bit bigger and uh, they're all irregular shapes. And when they move past each other, there's a lot of friction and they uh, build up and they also clot. So this type of oil is susceptible to uh, sludging and building up and clotting. And this right here, all the molecules are a little bit smaller. They're specifically built for an application and they're all uh, similar uh, shape and size and that gives them the ability to move past each other much smoother, there's much less friction, and there's much less breakdown. So this oil is a lot more stable under high heat and high friction and extreme pressure. And uh, the oil doesn't separate and it actually keeps the film on the metal and under high RPM, it doesn't allow that uh, oil to fling off the metal. So also, synthetic motor oil has a dual relationship. When it's extremely cold, it still pours. It doesn't get hung up on anything, so it pours very easy. And then also when it's hot, it keeps its film strength and the oil doesn't thin out like a mineral oil. This oil actually thins out uh, significantly more than a synthetic lubricant, especially 100% synthetic. Right, I also wanted to mention we have a results video that's coming up right after this one, and I did a 20,000 mile oil change, and it was really a lot of fun. Check it out. So not only is this lubricant good for cars, planes, but also for motorcycles, lawn mowers, any type of equipment, this will uh, totally improve it 100%. All right, 